Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. Today I have an unboxing of what is called as a Wool Genie. I have not, I've only opened it, but I have not actually peeked inside. So it's an authentic first impression and we're gonna give this product a try. Saw it on TikTok and I had to find it and I found it on Amazon and let's go. So let's take a peek. Okay, so let's take a look at the instructions. Okay, here's what it looks like. Magnetic pendulum. Let's see where everything goes. Okay, so the instructions seem pretty clear. So it says to remove the clip out. Okay, and then we'll do this here. So we'll stick this here. Okay, that's pretty easy. So we're now going to use this big disc. This is the bottom of the pendulum. This here is going underside of the pendulum into the spot, and then this clip is gonna hold it. So the first thing you need to do is you need to take the top of this and you need to slide this into here, all the way down. Turn it like this, and you're going to take this and with the clip, Go this so it stays flat on this side. You're gonna take this. This is gonna lock everything into position so this will hold. And just slightly just use your thumb and just kind of push it on. And once it's on, just slide all the way in and it will find that groove and it will click. And so the bottom of your pendulum is done. You're gonna take this piece and just slide it in. And push down. Then you're going to take the bar that you have and you're going to just slide it in. And it's just going to rest. Okay, and then you're going to take the bottom piece like here and just lay that on top. Now the magnet is actually sitting right in the interior right there. And so when you get it close, you'll hear it click and it will just dangle like this. So now we're going to try a yarn ball and see what we can do. You got a big shaft to be able to work with. So this seems like it's pretty cool. So I have a partially used red heart with yarn here, and I'm just going to insert it into here. You could probably use a full ball as well. And then you can just make sure it hits the top like so. And let's see if it clicks. And does it hold? So the problem is here is that it'd probably be a little bit too high. So you'd want to make sure that the loose end for the interior is kind of tucked out of the way, like so. But then it means that the exterior is available to you. So it's pulling, but it's obviously a little bit too long. So this would not be a great product for that. So let's see what else we can do with this product. So I'm gonna try again, because chances are I will use a ball like this. So I'm just gonna squish it down more compact and just put this in. and make sure that it kind of just squishes down. So the goal is, is not to impede with the top. So let's try it again. So that works. So now, when because it's magnetized, it's just freely flowing. So there is absolutely no friction from this thing. Look how it just keeps on turning. So this is one of those ones where it's not literally gonna pull off of the table uh, for any friction that you have. So this is winning my heart already. Hmm. <laughs> So let's try something else. Karen Ripple Cakes, let's slide off the ball band. Let's just say I want it to work from the outside of the ball. So once you get it, just push it down. So this is actually a heavy ball. So let's just test it. And look, there's no interference in the back bar and it's just flowing perfectly. This is a 10 out of 10 product. Look at this. I could just spin it like that too. So it seems like it, this is a cotton yarn, so it's actually pretty heavy. So it seems like it can hold all of this. It's pretty stable. There's a bit of a lip here, so that's kind of doing that. But I like how there, there's no friction. And this product to me is definitely a genius one and definitely going in my TV room so that I can crochet from the outside of the ball. Pretty cool. <laughs>